Up in the tower. This is the only way through. If I lay down cover, can you move up on him? That's anyone's guess. Shit, Max, I got you covered. Don't let them draw you out. Can you just cover me? Sure. Right up to the moment my head gets blown off. You gotta move again. I'll give you cover. Wait on me. Go! Hit the gravestone! Shit! More guys! Get him! Gotta unload on this thing! What the hell? Oh, fucking... I need this space! Shoot at him! Go! You're in pretty bad shape, pal. Okay. I'm gonna cover you again. See if you can flank it. Shot. Run, duck, flank. Easy orders to give when you're way behind the front line. Windows coming up. Great. We'd come in here to hide, not very successfully as things turned out. Freeze! As opposed to what? Disco dance? Shut the fuck up, half cast Turn around! Turn around! Move! Move! Hold it! That way, you fucking jokers. Move! Where are we going? Hey, fucking easy. You killed my son. You killed my fucking son. My boy. My only son. Listen, I'm sorry. Fuck you! Sorry for your loss. But your son was killed in gun battle. A battle he started. Shut your fucking mouth! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No! <sighs> Fuck you. You killed my son! You fucking spick! You killed my son! Dig! No!
I have to admit, I almost felt bad for the guy. Dink. Sure, he had lived a bad life, but I of all people knew that living with this grief would be payment enough for any sins. Still, perhaps not so bad that I was prepared to dig my own grave and let these goombas kill me without even getting some dirt on their hands. Your body ain't gonna bury itself, dig, motherfucker! I didn't want to tell the guy there were 45 other bodies in the cemetery that weren't receiving their Christian rites. I figured the Gravedigger Act would buy us some time. I'm getting tired just watching you! I had bought some time, but credit was running out. I had to act before the final foreclosure. Looks good enough to me! Who got us in this situation?
You're gonna take that contract on my head, bro? I didn't mind saying goodbye to this place whacked out on meds. This looks about as good as any to make a stand. At least the coroner won't have to go far to go to work. Uh, like I said, Paso's always had a good sense of humor. We gotta find a phone. I got a connection in Queens who can help us. Huh. All right. Spread out! And clear every room before you move on. We don't want to miss these damn fools. Our SOS was gonna have to wait. Find that phone. Make a call. Yeah, there's gotta be a landline in that office, man. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, at least for a little while. 
Call somebody, get a little help, and we'll get out of here. Hey, hey, it's me. Look, we really need to get out of New Jersey. Yeah, the things are heating up. We got like half the New Jersey mob after us. Uh, and a cemetery in Hoboken. Here I was again, halfway down the world, and still looking at the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. I ain't quite as dumb as I see. It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. And that awful nightclub, the stadium, the docks. I'd been given enough chances to make this right, and again I'd blown it. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. My body ached and my eyes burned. I needed something to straighten me out. Cops didn't seem too concerned with meeting their arrest quotas. Between me and Sao Paulo's finest, it'd be a miracle if the CS were still in business by the end of the day. The place was swarming with cops, but they weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough clusterfucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcello and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads too. Giovanna and Marcello were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. I'd heard about these raids. Rena thugs in body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. And it was fair game, as I was about to find out. 
The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. body ached and my eyes burned. I needed something to straighten me out. This wasn't such a good spot to enjoy the view.
I was still alive, and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Man, I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. If I filled my body with enough poison, maybe I'd forget I added another dead girl to my rap sheet. Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Hare Krishnas. I couldn't make much sense of what I was seeing, but I had the feeling it wasn't that strange for anyone else. no option but to take the scenic route. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. But who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? <laughs>
It seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. It was Sao Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcello and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. In fact, everything felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't gonna end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Não faz isso não, viu? Por favor, não faz isso não. Vamos acabar com essa porra. Cala a boca, sua puta. Vem pra cá. Here was Giovanna and Marcelo. What the hell were they about to do to him? Marcelo! Jesus. You bastard! way of killing people. This is no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Who did this? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. Porra de americano. Cusão morre, porra. Caralho. Contra ele. Pode deixar, eu mato.
After a couple of hours of lying in shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. Giovanna was calling Passos. I didn't know if this was a good place to hide or not. When half the local police force and a crew of paramilitary psychopaths want to send you upstairs, I reasoned the crowd was as good a place as any. At least when we got shot, maybe some kind soul would take a video and put it on the internet. Let's go. I just saw a cop looking at me. All right. Paso said there's a good place to hide in the back. I'm just trying to stay calm. Come on, come on, come on. You okay? Yeah. I guess this is it. No, keep going. That's a girl. Pregnant. You better be shitting me. Me and Raul, Passos, you call him. We just want to live somewhere away from this shit. I understand. I wanted that too, a long time ago. What happened? It just didn't work out that way. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe things will be different for you two, I mean. Passos is a lucky guy. I don't think these guys are here for your baby shower. Get down. Stay out of sight. Disperse e procure por toda parte. Temos que achar a menina e o americano também. Tá bom. Okay, chef. Procura por todo lado. Calm down, I said. Calm down? Are you out of your mind? They're going to kill us. Giovanna, just wait there. I'm going to be here soon. There isn't going to be a soon if we stay here. We have to move. Giovanna, get down.
okay? Yeah. Here, quick. Climb under here. Uh, open the gate from the uh, other side. Quick! Uh, 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 now stay right here while I check it out. Make sure you stay out of sight. I can't do this! Short of riding in on a parade float, we couldn't have made our arrival more obvious. We had to hide someplace out of the open. Day two of sobriety was going about as well as day one. to get this poor girl out of there. Oh my god, Max! Come on. What's going on? What's going on? I don't know, but we gotta get the hell out of here. Let's go. We're not going to make it, are we? We'll be fine. We just gotta lay low till Passos gets here. This wasn't looking good. What the hell were Giovanna and Marcelo thinking going in there by themselves? Guess their plan was no more idiotic than mine, and I couldn't really fault them for losing faith in the Bronco's security detail. Just check this. We need to get out of the open. A barely recovering alcoholic and an unarmed pregnant woman. We were hardly a SEAL team. I put our life expectancy at five minutes. Hey. If we were lucky. If you can lift me up there, I'll see if I can lower it down. All right. Hmm. Ready. Right. Oh. <clears throat> Got it? Giovanna was a brave girl. She wasn't giving up. And I guess that meant neither could I. <clears throat> well done. Genova. Stay close and keep quiet. God damn it! He's going to see the Sacada! Oh no, get down! Next room? Uh, yes, I think so. Well, that may be our best bet. Go on, I'll meet you there. Are you sure? Yeah, don't worry. I'll find a way through. Just stay quiet and keep down. Had to be an easier way out of there than the way I came in.
I was getting good at this. Something. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh my God! those stairs down. Wait a second. I'm going to try something. The spoils of a desperate man. Are you coming? Come on. Let's get the hell away from here. Go on. It's okay. I'm right behind you. Must be losing it. There's someone down there. You think it's them? <laughs>
Our day had started with us hiding in filth and got progressively worse. My luck was running true to form. Or rather, I was running true to form. Here for bosses? No, it's not safe enough. Come on. Damn it. Max! Quiet! You're the one breaking in. No, you're the one breaking in. thinking. Maybe there was a security switch somewhere. I haven't. Ever shot anybody? No. Well, it's drive or shoot, sister. And right now, I reckon I'll be better at the shoot. Come on, you can do this. All right, now listen to me. I give you the word. I want you to slam it into gear, full on the gas, and drive us the hell out of here. What? Just drive the fucking thing straight and keep on going. Relax. You can do this. Ready? Go.
Try to keep us straight. Sorry! No, no! Oh, no! Ah! Yeah, I see it. this building and get the passers. Tell them to wait for me. Now go! Jump! Go! just about to run to the roof when my savior and friend, the man whose unborn child I had just killed for, decided to leave without me. After everything we've been through, I, I saved his girlfriend's life. Who? Raul Passos? Yeah, Raul Passos. Yeah, I don't. I thought you guys were very close. We were. Well, you know what? I did a background check. Jesus. I mean, I thought the two of you worked for Rodrigo Branco. Yeah, so? So? Did you get paid by Victor? Victor? No. Well, Raul Passos did. Six times. Dating back to a few months before you turned up. He even paid for a ticket for him to go to New York. Why? I don't know. My guess is to meet you. But why? I don't know. Maybe he liked you. Maybe he thought you needed a break. That's funny. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wanted some dumb gringo to come down here to shoot things up and maybe to take the watch for Rodrigo when he got shot. I don't believe that. Why? Because you're not a dumb gringo? Or because you are? You know, I have no fucking clue anymore.
Okay. Let me ask you something. What? Well, what is it that you really thought that you were doing down there in Panama? Hmm? And don't tell me you're so naive as to think you were just down there guarding a woman. I didn't know what to say. I had been so loaded in Panama.